never be sick again. One disease, two causes, six pathways, by Raymond Francis. Introduction. I was too sick to leave my bed. In fact, I was too weak even to lift my head from the pillow. At age forty-eight, at the peak of an international business career, I found myself on the brink of death. I had lost forty pounds from an already thin frame. I looked skeletal. My vital signs were failing. My doctors expected me to die. I chose to live. I say chose because on my own, relying on my knowledge of biochemistry and my determination not to die, I saved my own life. I took some fairly simple steps, but I also took one profound leap. I made a powerful discovery. Almost all disease can be prevented or reversed. As a result, health is a choice, and no one has to be sick. This book presents an entirely new theory of health and disease that will ultimately change the way medicine is practiced. This book offers a revolutionary way to perceive health, a guidebook for living based on cutting-edge science that is simple to understand. This guide gives you the power to control your own health in a way that you perhaps never imagined possible. In reality, humans experience only one disease. All disease is the result of malfunctioning cells, no matter if the disease is a common cold, a mental illness such as depression, or a life-threatening cancer. This theory of malfunctioning cells cuts through the confusion of health and disease and provides a unifying understanding of what keeps people well of or makes them sick. The two causes of disease, the two reasons that cells malfunction are deficiency or insufficient nutrients and toxicity or excessive toxins. These two causes work through six areas of daily life. The six pathways each person travels toward health or disease. If you take care of your body's needs along these six pathways, you give your cells what they need, and you avoid what is toxic, you will not become sick. The theory presented in this book, A Unifying Theory of Disease, is the most important health discovery to emerge in the last few hundred years. No such theory existed during the evolution of what we now call modern medicine, which explains why the medical establishment cannot cure nor prevent disease as effectively as it might. My theory of health offers power, simplicity, and clarity in place of powerlessness, which is what most people now feel. Most people are overwhelmed and confused by the constant flood of conflicting health information, the thousands of different diseases that physicians treat with drugs and surgery. This world of specialist symptoms and side effects leaves people without cures for their disease and, too often, either growing sicker or facing death. We end up powerless because we have no idea why we are sick or how to make ourselves well again. My new approach asks you to make profound shifts in what has been conventional thinking about illness and health care. By preventing and reversing disease through the six pathways, You put the power to get better and stay well into your hands. If you are sick that you have given up hope, this approach is the light of choice. Had I this level of understanding years ago, I would never have become sick in the first place. 
I have shared my ideas with thousands of people around the world, including hundreds of medical doctors. I have seen people who have been sick for a decade or more apply this information and quickly become well again. I have seen people who have fruitlessly tried endless doctors, hospitals, clinics, medications, and even gimmicks. They become well again by applying logical, sound, scientific approaches to enhancing health at the cellular level. This book asks you to think outside the box of traditional medicine, a box that may have you stifled by misinformation and cut off from the kind of understanding that will truly make you well. Consider how conventional thinking can trap us. Why do we easily accept that stress can make us sick? But we have difficulty embracing the idea that love, laughter, and a balanced life can make us well. Why are we willing to ingest chemicals in the form of prescription drugs that are alien to our body? But we are skeptical that natural substances, primarily the right foods, can heal? Why are we willing to recognize the damage of an obvious poisoning, a major chemical spill for instance, but we ignore the devastating effects of small amounts of toxic substances which accumulate in our bodies and make, a, make us a little bit sicker every day? Our bodies have an amazing capacity to heal, but they are more vulnerable than you may realize. This book teaches you how to tap that capacity for healing and how to avoid the toxins and the stresses in the environment and inside your own body that make you sick. Many dangers around us go unrecognized, but they take a toll every day. My theory of wellness takes you to the front lines of the battle between health and disease, the cell. Your body is made up of trillions of cells. Cells have needs, which I identify, that must be met if they are to function well. If your cells are healthy, your body will not become sick. If your cells do not receive what they need, or if they are damaged or poisoned, they will stop working right and you will become sick. You may be surprised to discover what is toxic to your cells. Cells that receive what they need and avoid harm can function well and provide for a healthy life. Regardless of your age, the genes you have inherited, or the germs to which you have been exposed, healthy cells refuse disease. No one with healthy cells has any reason to become sick, not even to contract a cold. People alive today are far sicker than most of us recognize, and they die decades sooner than their genetic potential. Healthy life, well past 100 years old, should be our birthright. We do not usually think about health in this way. We don't knowingly choose disease but we do choose diets and lifestyles that lead to disease. Unable to predict, prevent, or conquer disease, most people and most physicians pursue treatment, such as prescription or over-the-counter drugs. Once obvious symptoms have presented, after massive cellular malfunction has already occur occurred, patients and their physicians treat body parts or body systems as unrelated. The mainstream medical community has no unifying theory of disease, no unifying treatment, and no plan for prevention. And therefore, true and lasting health is an illusion. This book describes how to keep your body, all your cells, truly healthy. Understanding the six pathways toward health and following them in the right direction will change your life. You will learn things about nutrition that you have probably never heard before. 
including how the way you shop, the way you cook, or the foods that you combine at a meal spell the difference between health and disease. You will learn to recognize hazards in your home and how to stop toxins from being created within your own body. You will learn specifics down to the kind of vitamin supplements you should take, the toothpaste you should use, and the olive oil you should buy. I name names and identify brands based on how the products affect cells, because buying the wrong products does nothing to keep you healthy. Certain products, in fact, make you unhealthy. Consider your own life. Do you suffer from a health condition that you have given up trying to cure and now accept as fate? Do you bounce from one medical specialist to another, dizzy with conflicting diagnosis and different ideas about which treatments are best? Is your cabinet full of medications that you take regularly without any sense that you are healing? Are you tired most of the time? Do you expect to live past your 80s? This book guides you out of the maze of medical specialists and on the path toward wellness. This book teaches you how to question your doctor's advice and how to evaluate on your own the medicines you should take, if any. You can regain the kind of energy for living that you may have thought was lost forever. With this book, you can learn how to live beyond 100 years of age. With this book, you can learn how to live beyond 100 years of age. By looking at health and disease in entirely new ways and understanding how to choose health, you can reevaluate illnesses that you may have come to accept as unavoidable. You may be shocked to discover how often you choose not to be healthy. My code for living shows you in big ways and, is, and in small ways how to stop making yourself sick. I describe a potential for human health and long life that you never thought possible. Horizons will open up as you consider the possibility that you can live fully and vigorously decades beyond what you now consider old age. Many people know more about how their automobiles work than about what their bodies need in order to function. And people often pay more attention to maintaining their cars than themselves. People feel they just don't have the knowledge or medical training to figure out what is wrong with their own bodies or how to heal. The truth is that knowledge and power are within one's reach. No theory about health is so simple yet so powerful. This approach clears up the confusion surrounding thousands of so-called diseases and eliminates most modern medical treatments, drugs and surgery as toxic, invasive, and very necessary. The focus instead is on the common problems of disease and how to solve them. This book bypasses the complex and confusing world of illness and remedies and simplifies our understanding of health and disease, enabling people to prevent and reverse disease by addressing its causes. From the tangle of all the complexity emerges a straightforward approach to becoming well and staying well, an island of clarity in a sea of confusion. In its simplest terms, how health is determined can be expressed as an equation. Health equals positive things minus negative things. The quality of your health is determined by the positive things you do for your body minus the negative things you do to your body. This concept is not complicated. 
sexy or original. It is simply the truth. The problem is that accurate information about the factors that affect this equation is hard to obtain. Accurate information about what is positive and good for you and what is not does not come easily. Contradictory information and myths circulate and people disseminate opinions as if they were facts. Many health writers untrained in science misinterpret scientific, scientific information or parrot each other. The blind are often leading the blind. To choose health, you must know how to distinguish between good choices and bad choices regarding diet, toxic exposure, exercise, prescription, and recreational drug use, stress, and other factors. This book shows you how to make these distinctions. You may already read the labels on the foods you buy, the warnings on the prescriptions you take, and the coverage limits of your health plan. But if you are to achieve health and stay healthy, you must first understand what your body needs. Many health books provide recipes, diet lists, exercise regimens, and the like. Routines to be blindly followed with no real understanding of the rationale behind them. This book is different. This book provides a powerful and logical conception of health, a framework that assists you in coming to your own conclusions and making your own choices. With this framework, you will have a basis for understanding which choices need to be made, when you should make them and why. Your body is made of cells. When a large number of your cells malfunction, body systems become disrupted, leading to the one disease, cellular malfunction. Cellular malfun malfunction has only two causes, deficiency, cells not getting what they need, and toxicity, cells poisoned by something they do not need. Finally, six pathways exist between health and disease through which the health of our cells can change for better or worse. We can become healthy or sick, that is, deficient and or toxic through the following pathways. Pathway 1. Nutrition. You are what you eat. Learn how to select and prepare the types of foods that will enable your cells to function at their best. Pathway 2. Toxin. A toxin is a substance that interferes with normal cellular function, thereby causing malfunction, which is disease. Learn where toxins are found and how you can avoid them. Pathway 3. Psychological. The body and mind are inseparably connected. They are one and the same thing. The way we react to life events and respond to our thoughts and emotions directly affect ourselves. Pathway 4. Physical. Our cells and bodies need physical maintenance, like an automobile. Do you have enough exercise, rest, sunlight, and fresh air? Pathway 5. Genetic. Genes affect ourselves, but not nearly as much as modern medicine would have us believe. Learn how to optimize your genetic potential and avoid genetic damage. Pathway 6. Medical. Modern medicine kills and injures millions of people every year. Learn how medicine affects your cells and make educated decisions about which treatments you need and which you do not. All you need to know at any point in time is in which direction you are going along each of the pathways toward, toward health or disease and to make corrections. You cannot 
make good choices along only one or two of the pathways and expect to achieve optimal health. This approach limits many health plans and books, useful though they may be. Many approaches are on the right track, but they do not look at the whole picture. Making healthy choices with respect to all six pathways is what empowers the body to regulate and repair itself. That said, each choice you make in a positive direction toward health on any pathway at any time will improve your life. Each step toward health puts you closer to your true potential and further away from the risk of disease or illness. Each contribution, no matter how small, is still significant. End of introduction.